Aloha. Welcome to the Veteran and Military Resource Center at Kapiolani Community College. In this video, we are going to be going over the enrollment certification request form. If you are a veteran, military, or a family member and plan to use VA education benefits, you will need to complete this form every semester of enrollment and every time you make changes to your major, program, or courses. Before starting the ECR form, you will need five things. Your UH username, your UH ID number, your counselor's name and email address, your course schedule, and your certificate of eligibility. Please note, Chapter 31 Veteran Readiness and Employment Students do not submit a COE. Chapter 31 VRNE students will email a tungsten authorization to kccva at hawaii.edu. Tungsten authorizations come from your VRNE counselor. To find a counselor's information, you can go to the VMRC website. Click on the ECR form at the top and you will see, click here, highlighted in blue, for the list of counselors. On the same page, click this link to begin your ECR form. The first page will have four boxes for you to fill in. The first box is your first and last name. The second box is for your school and email address. The next box is for your counselor's first and last name. And the final box is for your counselor's email address. Lastly, click on Begin Signing. To begin filling out the form, first scroll down to the bottom of the document and accept the terms and conditions. Select if this is your initial or updated ECR form. Section 1, General Information. Enter your last name, first name, middle initial, phone number, UH username, and UH ID number. Your UH ID number must be eight digits. Next, is this your first time using VA education benefits at KCC? Select yes or no. Then select yes or no to indicate if you are a transfer student. And again, you will select yes or no to show if you have changed majors or concentration at KCC or changed your home campus. Section 2, Education Benefits Program Information. Select your chapter benefits. For Chapter 35, the VA file claim number is the claim number on your certificate of eligibility. Suffix number is the dependent's file or claim number identified with a suffix. It indicates your relationship to the veteran. The suffix is either a letter and or a two-digit number at the end of the file claim number. If you are using Chapter 35 and you do not provide your claim number and suffix, we cannot process your ECR form. Section 3, Enrollment Information. Select what term you want to use your VA education benefits. Enter the campus, course name, course number, and number of credit hours. Select yes or no if you applied for financial aid at KCC. Sign your ECR form. A separate window will pop up to enter your signature. Make sure there is a space between your first and last names. Click Apply when done. Section 4, Responsibility Statement Form. This is important information regarding your GI Bill education benefits. Please read it carefully. A separate window will pop up for your initials. After you initial each statement, you will sign and date at the bottom. You can attach any supporting documents to your ECR form here, such as your COE or tungsten authorization. Once you have finished your form, this pop-up will appear at the bottom of your screen. Please select the Click to Sign button. Important reminder, for Chapter 33 Post-9-11 GI Bill, we cannot process your ECR without your Certificate of Eligibility. Submit your COE by attaching it to your ECR form or emailing a copy of the first page to kccva at hawaii.edu. You only need to submit your COE once. If you sent us your COE recently or in a previous semester, you do not need to send your COE again. For Chapter 31 VRNE, you do not submit a COE. Email your tungsten authorization from your VRNE counselor to kccva at hawaii.edu or attach it to your ECR. You need to submit your tungsten authorization every semester. The ECR will automatically be sent to your counselor whose information you provided. They will review and check if your courses meet KCC requirements. After your counselor approves and signs your online ECR form, 
you will receive an email copy of your completed signed ECR form. Please review the form to confirm that all of your courses have been approved. A copy of your ECR will automatically be sent to our VMRC email for processing. If you have not received your completed ECR form within a week, please send a follow-up email to your counselor. Remember that the priority deadlines to submit your ECR are July 15 for the fall semester, December 15 for the spring semester, and April 15 for the summer session. When you submit your ECR after the priority deadline, you will still receive all the benefits you are due, but please expect a delay. Please note that to maximize your benefits, you will need to be registered full-time each semester, which means 12 or more credits in a semester-based courses. If you are eligible for a housing allowance, you will want to take at least one face-to-face -face course that runs the full length of the semester to maximize your benefit. If you are missing any information or have not entered it in the needed format, you will not be able to submit your form. Please go back and review sections that are marked in red. Follow up with your counselor if you do not receive your ECR within a week or if they denied your ECR form. We hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions about completing the form, please email us at kccva at hawaii.edu or call us at 808-734-9583. Mahalo!